post, uh, Americal post grapevine here. And these vines here are four years old and looks pretty vigorous. We've got an excellent uh, site for this vineyard, well-drained site. Let's just talk about pruning a little bit. I'm going to wear safety glasses because when you're, when you're moving fast and pruning, uh, oftentimes you're not watching out and you can poke, get poked in the eye with a cane. I'll be using some uh, just plain sizable twine for tying. Uh, these are 16 inch length. Uh, what's nice about sizable twine is that they will biodegrade within two or three years. Uh, but you can tie cordons and canes on with these things. And what you don't want is you don't want these ties that do not uh, biodegrade because what happens is they end up strangling the cordon or the cane that they're on and you just don't want them. You, it, they uh, cause more problems than they're worth. And then if you do get some synthetic twine out here in the vine floor, what happens? It gets tight. It gets tied up in your mower and causes problems. I think over at this vine would be an example of uh, this is a synthetic twine right here, and you can tell right now if you look at the back side, it's starting to girdle this trunk coming up. So again, you don't want to use synthetic twine. You want to use natural. So let's go back to this vine. Uh, there's two types of pruning with uh, I often uh, consider in the spring, one is a uh, full pruning, and uh, you do that uh, so you leave the just amount of buds that you need. Uh, in this case, I'm going to prune this, uh, do a long pruning first. And what long pruning is, is you typically leave um, anywhere from 50% uh, to maybe another 100% more buds than you need to produce a crop. And the reason why we do that is because the buds out here will break first and they will maybe give protection to the buds down here, the fruiting buds that you want to retain, maybe three to seven days. This is pretty important if it's in April, another three to seven days of frost protection. Uh, that's a gimme, that's a good. So often I, often I will recommend people do a long pruning and then come back here mid-April to late April when the, when the buds are starting to pop, when maybe the little shoots are starting to come out, they can quickly analyze how much bud death they have and do a final pruning for that uh, final number of buds. This is a good vine here. Uh, again, it's Americal Foch, uh, the cold tolerant down to negative 20 plus. Uh, very vigorous plant here in uh, central Iowa. So I'm going to look at this vine and, and just go through the pruning process. First thing I look is at the, at the trunk. Uh, the trunk is in good shape. There's no diseases. I, it's, there's nothing wrong with the trunk. So it's, uh, I'm going to go ahead down here. We don't need this second trunk. I'm going to knock it off. So I'm going to knock off the second trunk. So I've got back to the single trunk. <laughs> and the next thing I want to do is look at I want to go out about four feet in both directions. I don't want this vine to crowd into the vine next to it. So I'm just going to go over here about four feet. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. And come over here another four feet. Okay, this is the length you want right here. I'm going to knock it out right about. I think I'll knock it out right here. So I'm going to go through here now and, and uh, I'm going to go prune about everything back to about 8 to 10 inches of the cordon. Again, we have the trunk coming up here. We have the cordon coming out, and this is nothing but a cane that's two or three or plus years old. And then we have the canes coming out from this cordon. In some cases, an older cane, you'll have an arm, and then you'll have canes coming off that arm. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to come out here and get, prune everything back within about eight inches or so of this cord on. Get rid of the neighbor here that's sticking over here. Anything less than a quarter inch typically I don't want to keep. Ideally, when I'm all set done here, I want about somewhere between four to six buds per foot of cordon or per foot of wire. Uh, any more than that, you get too much crowding with the vegetation. One thing I want to point out here is that if you have a case where you don't have enough buds, you have a lot of dieback, 
there's there's a this is the cane again here's the cordon we have a very short arm down here and then the cane comes up and these are persistent laterals these are the shoots that came off the uh, lateral shoots that came off last year and if you're in a situation where you're trying to find more buds because you've had a lot of dieback with a persistent lateral on the cane this would be a persistent lateral the bud that's in the axle right down here that's not fruitful but these buds out here on this persistent lateral are and you can retain those if you want to if you need some more buds for fruiting you can retain those again anything less than a quarter inch I like to take off if at all possible okay I'm gonna call that long pruning a uh, couple more here I probably have anywhere from maybe uh, oh probably 70 to somewhere maybe upwards to maybe 90 buds left on that plant and ideally I'm going to be in that 50 uh, to maybe 55 range for buds when I'm done pruning. But right there that would be considered long pruning. The benefit of this is you can go through really fast, no think, clean everything up within 8 to 10 inches of wire, and clean all the pruning out of the vineyard, and then come back with your t-shirt and shorts on in mid-April when it's warm, and then come in and look at the buds that are swelled coming out and then prune it back to your, in this case, somewhere in the 50s or mid-50s as far as bud number. With that, that's a long prune plant. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and prune it and I'm going to try to get four to six buds per foot of row. And I'm going to go in this head area. and This is the head area right in here. You always get a lot of growth in there and I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. We don't want double canes. The whole idea is you don't want canes and buds putting shoots out above each other. So I'm going to knock that one out. I'm going to get there. We've got a blank here. That's not good. Hopefully Maybe we'll get a latent bud to pop out somewhere in here. I like to get all this old stuff out, again, because of the potential for diseases. Get these mummies out of here, the old rachis of the grapes from last year. Okay, I think I'm done pruning this plant right here. Uh, just looking at it, I, I'm leaving about oh, somewhere between three to maybe four buds uh, per, per cane coming up here. Ideally, I'd like to have every, about every six inches, I'd like to have a, a cane coming up or a spur, and I, I'm too here. But overall, looking at this cane, I would say that I'm somewhere in that just looking at it, uh, probably somewhere a little over 20 buds over here, and I've got a good 30 plus buds on this side. So that that uh, vine is pruned. Thank you very much. This is Mike White with ISU Extension. Have a good day.